Hello family, today we're looking at another exciting job opportunity with Business Server, the role of IT security analyst, governance, risk and compliance. And the beauty of it is this job is 100% remote and it pays up to $70,000 a year. So today we're going to review the job description, we're going to review your resume that will help you get this role. And we're also going to look at how can you get the interview how can you nail the interview to make sure this job is yours let's dive deep straight into it now it security analyst who is an it security analyst before you define or understand this position you must understand that this is in grc governance risk and compliance so every of your duty as an IT security analyst was going to be within the realm of governance, risk and compliance. Now, let's take a look at about the company here. Since 1998, Business Server has delivered market changing benefit technology and service supported by an intrinsic responsiveness to clients need. So we know that this company is in uh, the service industry. Okay. They do technology services. All right. So the company creates client program that maximize benefit program investment, minimize risk ex exposure and engage employees with easy to use solution and communication tools to assist them in making wise and cost efficient benefit selections. Now you can understand by reading this about uh the company to be able to understand what the company does and you can also go ahead and take a look at their website we're, we're still going to try and see how we can look at their website to see what they do now let's look at the grc analyst here the grc analyst assess and prioritize information security and cyber security across the organization facilitate compliance with regulatory requirements and information security policies and develops and reports on information security metrics now let's break this down. Let's break this down. GRC analysts assess and prioritize information security and cyber security risk. All right. That is very important. So you assess, you prioritize information security and cyber security risk. Now you must understand cyber security and information security. You can use them interchangeably. Okay. So we can say you want to assess, prioritize cyber security risk. Okay, across the organization, facilitate compliance with regulatory requirements and information security policies. Now let's talk, let's break that down. You want to facilitate compliance with regulatory requirements. It means that you want to make sure that business server is in compliance with all the regulatory compliance. So for instance, if business server ac accept and transmit card order data, it means that you want to make sure that they are in compliance with PCI DSS. If it's a health company, you want to make sure that they are in compliance with HIPAA. So those are regulatory requirements. Another thing is the information security policy. Now, every company has information security policies. You want to make sure that business server is in compliance or they do everything that is in their information security policies. All right. The reason is most companies, they have information security policies, but they don't carry them out. They don't, they don't follow them. So you want to make sure that they follow them. So the, let's look at the last one and develops and reports information security metrics like report data and report data. So that is what this role is all about. Now to be able to get this role, they have the gig here. The gig simply means like the responsibilities, the job duties, essential functions, whatever you want to call it. Um, the first one is implement the security program using industry standard framework that align to regulatory requirements and business objective. So information security program that will help them to be in compliance with the regulatory framework. Okay. That they are supposed to, um, in be in compliance of. So like the industry standard framework that they need, you want to implement that security program. Also, you want to perform risk analysis for system processes, third party tools, application. They have everything packed here. The system, number one, there are processes, third party tools and applications, right? 
um, the systems, including their laptops, their infrastructure, all right? And the processes is how they do what they do and how they protect the system, all right? You want to perform risk analysis for that. Also, the third party tools that they use every third party tools that they use and application you need to have risk analysis you want to know how those uh, tools are secure or how those tools interact with confidential information that your company transmits or keep um document business ownership and responsibility that is documentation that is easy can you and perform regular assessment investigate internal and external information security risk and exceptions assessment that is very easy now the last one remain current on best practices and technology technological advancement and act as the technical resource for security assessment so what they're saying here is you must understand what is going on in your environment know what is going on in the world of tech know what is going on in the tech industry okay and in the security industry you you must be up to date so you need to subscribe to maybe some newsletter some blogs that will keep you informed and you must follow some industry leaders that will help you to be you know informed on what is going on now what you need to make the court and like i used to tell you guys don't be scared by all you see as experience or requirement um, that recruiters do right here like i used to tell you if you have one or two of these requirements you're going to get a job okay so take a look at that and then let's see um which one if you have one or two and if you don't you can google them read about them okay and then they have preferred experience here so let's see if we can see the website of this company this is the website so this is it right here so make sure when you apply make sure you read about them you read about the company everything that they do because when you go for interview they're going to ask you have you heard about our company before the next thing you're going to say is no i've not heard about your company but i've read about it i understand that you do this i understand that you do that i understand that these are your customers i understand that these are the things that you do if you're able to tell them the recruiters we know that yes you're serious about working or joining the team they will know that you're serious about joining the company all right now let's look at how you can nail the interview before we go into that this is a resume that will help you with your interview and don't forget you can check the description below i have a link that will lead you to this uh, resume you can download it and update your resume according to this format and you'll be able to get the interview and then from there you'll be able to clinch the job now let's talk about how do you want to nail the interview Two things. Number one, you must understand everything that you have in your experience. It's important. They don't want to ask you any question that you had that you add in your resume as an experience. Any question, any experience you have in your resume is saying that they can ask you question about that experience and you will give them answer. So you must understand everything you have in your experience. That's number one. Number two, when you go to the company make sure you understand what they're saying here okay before you do that i always tell people about the role that you see on the company website is very important so when you read about the role that they have here this will give you like an overall understanding of what that role is about so you can create stories around it you can create scenarios around it you can have your understanding wrap around about the role and also about the gig when you do that believe me you're going to nail the interview you're going to nail the interview so looking at this gig here what are they talking about number one you must understand industry security frameworks standard frameworks you must be able to perform risk you know analysis for systems you must understand how to document report you must stay abreast of information that is going on in the security world so not only that then you can now take a look at this to understand what exactly are you going to talk about in the interview how do you assess and prioritize cyber security risk how do you facilitate compliance with regulatory requirements and information security policy now how do you develop and report 
on the formation security metrics if you want to say that you've done this before then you must create scenarios you must watch youtube you must read about them you must understand everything that you need to do in order to understand this entire about job here okay so i've done the review of the role i've given you also the resume and then this you're going to find the link to apply for the role down there so i've given you everything you need to apply for this job and also i've given you everything you need to be able to clinch the interview and be able to pass the interview turn the interview into a conversation all right i hope this has been helpful i'm going to come back again tomorrow with another exciting job opportunity in the field of cyber security that does not require you to have a coding skill or any technical or hacking experience i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye for now <laughs>